Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Friday night and um, we are here talking once again about electric car news. If you are new here, my name is Alex and if you're interested in any type of electric car related topic, this is definitely the right place for you to be. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification icon right below this video. So, you know, it's be, I've been doing this every day uh, so far this week and I was kind of concerned in the beginning that I was going to run out of news to talk about. Boy, was I wrong. I am, we are, we're definitely not going to run out uh, of news, I think, anytime soon. Every time I have two or three different news to talk about. So let's get going. And of course, this stream is sponsored by EV Annex Tesla Accessories for those of you guys who want to do more cool things for your Teslas. All right. So the first news, of course, of the day is that Tesla has released a new image of the semi truck or as they're calling it now a truck a Tesla truck now people have been speculating and and figuring out well are they going to announce an actual truck in addition to a semi truck or you know so it, it's interesting to see what they're going to do with it but they're just calling it a truck now if you remember Elon said that there will be something else announced at the event and people have been speculating that it would be another car i don't think so but still we are going to i'm going to be there myself uh, i'm going to be there covering it for you i'm going to try to go live there will be other youtubers there i personally myself am going to be uh, my guest is patrick of tesla trip if you haven't seen his channel uh, check it out it's a pretty cool vlog that he does uh, with his model x so but here it is here's the image as a matter of fact let me show it to you full screen as you can see, there are more details that you can see here. And of course, uh, it does kind of look like something that we saw as far as the spy pictures are concerned. Obviously, it's still very much in the shade, but it, it does uh, look futuristic. And um, it doesn't look like it's as long as it was in a spy shot. So that's, that's, a, that's kind of interesting because, uh, you know, maybe that spy shot was never really... Um, uh, maybe that was a Photoshop picture. So that would be kind of uh, misleading, but I know we were still kind of freaking out over that. But hey, this it is what it is, and uh, we are all excited. Now, um, I, you know, my opinion about this, I think, you know, the semi truck, as cool as it is, and I know they're breaking yet another industry in half. And as a matter of fact, they're forcing, you know, companies uh, compete, as you know, uh, Daimler, I think, and comments already announced their trucks, electric car uh, trucks. Um, so it's, I mean, it's, it's great and I'm glad they're doing it. But at the same time, think about this, think about what if all of this talent, all this engineers and, and people working the line and battery specialists and everything think, what if they were doing it, they were working on the model three, would there be a delay or would all of that talent in addition to what they already have, uh, for, uh, people working on the model three, if that would uh, speed things up. So I, I, I thought this was just not the best timing, uh, but it's here. I'm excited to be there. And uh, EV Patty says it's going to be November 16th. Yes, they're saying the doors will open at seven. The event will start around eight. Um, so I'm definitely excited. I'm going to bring it to you guys. Uh, I'm definitely live, but also I'm going to take some cool footage and maybe do some interviews and, and, and have some additional uh, footage. All right, Dino from Brazil, Ziad from Florida. Uh, we got Costa Blanca, Spain in the house, Miami. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is really exciting. Uh, let me know if you have any questions because there's just so much, so many different information or your opinion about what do you think about uh, this picture. Um, I know it's not a full picture of the truck, but I think we kind of sort of now know what it's going to look like. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you think this is a cool thing that they're doing, or if you'd rather have them concentrate on you know making making the model 3 fb diesel says comments electric truck only a hundred miles that is true and this is why i didn't want to bother come uh, covering it because a hundred miles for a truck is really not that much uh, now i know they're claiming that this is mainly for city deliveries but still these trucks are assumed are going to be working all day long driving all day long you're definitely going to cover more than a hundred miles in one day as a matter of fact the semi truck is you know the trucks that people expect to go a very long distance and therefore the range needs to be really impressive so let's say LA from San Francisco I think this is the first 
thing that people are going to wonder if it can go all the way from LA to San Francisco, uh, because sooner or later they're going to expect these trucks to drive themselves and therefore you know, one thing that truck is driving itself, another thing is truck is driving itself and then has to stop the recharge and connect to the charger. So it's not really that easy. So we'll see now. Elon promised us that there will be some things, some specs that will actually surprise us, something that people are not predicting. So hopefully the range is going to be one of them. Uh, Lucas Marsh is asking, what do you think about a Model Y Roadster Premier? They will show it now. Okay. That's actually one of the things that just might happen as well, because Model Y, if they're really going to do it the way they're doing, that they said they would, which they're going to build it on top of the Model 3. So really, it's not that big of a difference. They're not going to be building it from ground up. Who knows? Maybe they will premiere that as well, because remember, Elon said that Model Y, they're projecting it to have even better sales and having a bigger demand than the Model 3. And they might, he might be right, because, you know, Crossover SUVs, uh, smaller SUVs are, are, are extremely popular right now because they, 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 they appeal to so many different people. So if it's an electric car where gas is not really an issue, at the same time you can carry your stuff in, in the car and fit your kids and all of that stuff. So this is, I believe in when he says it. So, hey, if this is going to be Model Y, then um, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Roadster. You know, that's another thing that I hope they'll wait for a couple of a couple of years at least because this is not the time the, you know, they, they're so spread thing right thin right now. And if they unveil it on the 16th, people will start expecting it to be in production within a couple of years. And that's, you know, that's just something I think they just can't pull off without more and more delays. You know, this event uh, for the semi truck unveiling was already something that they they've delayed twice. So they've had nothing but delays. I, I don't think they can afford doing that. Um, so I, I, I hope not. Um, and don't forget the market for the Roadster, I'm assuming it's going to start at like 120,000 is very small. Uh, Jonathan says looks good. Uh, Dino says sci-fi look. Um, yes, you know, as a matter of fact, I think it looks going to look even cooler once the, there is a trailer like in the picture uh, attached to it. Um, David says this is very cool. Uh, a, a truck is going to be great, I think, uh, and exchangeable battery. You know, that's the technology that I was hoping would stick with the Model S and the Model X, right? The swappable battery. But they killed it. So if they can figure out how to do that with uh, with this truck, and if this is going to become a thing, I would be ecstatic. So hopefully that's going to happen. But don't forget, then they'll have to uh, build more of those swapping stations. But they might. Um, and Tong Tran also says the same thing. Uh, um, EV Patty also believes that you know hopefully he he says maybe the roaster, but they shouldn't show cars too early. Exactly what I said. I completely agree with you. And maybe you said it first and I just read it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, Ben says they need another factory before expanding the range. Um, you know, I don't think they're, um, either one of their Giga factories are operating at full force right now. So I think they have room somewhere there. I know they're trying to build a factory in China and in Europe. So um, I think they, they have plans. I think Elon at one point earlier this year said that they're targeting like 20 gigafactories around the world at some point. So there, if there's anything truth to it, then, then I think they, they, they know they, they need those factories. Um, so yeah, I, you know, th this is exciting. I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna freak out over one image that's still not fully, uh, fully uh, really visible. But it's definitely an anticipation is killing everybody. We all want to see what it's going to look like in a stat. So I'm I'm quite I'm quite excited about it. I really wasn't until maybe uh, this week, and I know I think also just because you know I'm going to get to travel to LA and meet a lot of other people that I've been watching uh, myself on YouTube and a few other people at Tesla that have been communicating. So to me, it's just going to be an experience, and I'm going to try to share it with you guys um, as much as possible. All right, let me move to another story that that. Um, I'm actually going to cover this maybe later when I have time to edit. But today I had my very first test drive in the brand new Nissan Leaf. Now I already covered it twice. One, I had my first impression video when they just did an unveiling. And another one is when they demoed it here for the uh, Drive Electric Car Week. And um, so, I, but there was no, you couldn't drive it. You couldn't turn it on. It was really a prototype. And even though what I drove today was also prototype, but it was kind of fully functional prototype. And I have to say, there are kind of few things that surprised me. And I really didn't know, and let me know in the chat here if you guys knew that, 
The new Nissan Leaf is going to have a level three charging uh, and you can charge them with EVgo and that's pretty fast. That's They're, they're saying 80% of the battery in 30 minutes and if their battery is about 150 miles, 80% of that we're talking about, you know, 120 miles. 125 miles, so that's that's up there. Um, I, I tried their self-driving features. I tried I tried the e-paddle as well. So I pretty much uh, kind of had a full uh, test drive and 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 tried all the features because the car that that they gave me to test drive had pretty much all of the features you can have. I have to say the test driving. Uh, the the self-driving feature was um, a little bit weird, but they said that on the streets it's just not as great as it is on the freeway and I just didn't want to go to the freeway because they were too clogged we were doing it around five o'clock in the afternoon and I figured I'll pass but I did did try the e uh, paddle and I thought that was that was pretty cool let me know what you guys think about the new Nissan Leaf I I really gave them a lot of kudos already and because it's, they really stepped it up I know the range is not perfect but it's definitely acceptable they are coming up coming up with um the uh, newer, the, the longer range next year, and certainly the look of it is a uh, hundred percent better. I, seriously, I, I I wouldn't want to be caught dead in a previous Nissan Leaf. Uh, the only complaint I have, and it's a big one, is that they don't have the active thermal management system, and I think this is something that they're just gonna have to um, work on and hopefully kind of put it out there you know, maybe within one or two years. I, I really hope they're working on that. Um, ben says, great to see the watch. You know, yes, I finally wore my watch. This is one of my favorite watches. It's called CEO watches. Um, just very clean look. So yes, I'm rocking some, you know, wrist jewelry as well. So thank you for putting me on the right track here because every time I started the, uh, the, the live stream, I forgot to put my watch. So I'm gonna try to wear a different watch for every day. Uh, and showcase my watch collection, which I really like. But none of my watches are above a hundred dollars. I I I only buy watches under hundred dollars. The up and coming brands like this one, so I really really like it. Okay, George asks, um, autopilot Nissan versus Tesla. All right, so they I do have to say I was impressed that autopilot uh, did have pretty much all the features that I have uh, in my 1.0. Um, it did act strangely. It was not keeping me in the lane really and I kind of had to take the wheel over and so that I'm I would say it's not ready for uh, at least the street driving. Um, I didn't try it on the freeway, but nevertheless, you know, in the same road, my Tesla did a thousand times better. Um, now they do have the lane control. So they, you know, every time you uh, we're, we're off the lane, it will tell you that, hey, you're going over. Um, so that's actually the presentation was a little bit better. It makes it a bit of a bigger deal, a, a louder sound and the, the screen lights up in yellow. And I think it should be a bigger deal because, you know, you, you might, you, you may be just about to hit another car. So I like that. Um, the, the, it did keep the distance just fine and it has three different, uh, distance, you know, three, uh, one body of the car two and three so you can change that um, and, and you can set it on your wheel uh, which is which is fine I actually would be upset if it didn't uh, but I as far as just the way it was acting I just can't say that that was that great um, maybe I'll do another test drive in the next few months and and it, I will have a different experience but for now it wasn't that great now e pedal is actually kind of came around about the e pedal e pedal um, it's actually um, I thought it was just going to be really like stop and go almost like, a, you know, uh, they, they keep saying golf cart. And I told the guy who was demoing the cars, like, don't say that. It's not like a golf cart. It's actually pretty smooth. You still kind of figure out you have to time the distance so you can stop at the exact point you want to stop. And it does slow down relatively slow. Maybe in the future they can have an adjustment how hard you want the e-pedal to brake when you let it go. Um, Let's see, someone just said, um, uh, Evie Patty said, the leaf is cool, but I don't trust the battery. Yes, I, I, listen, I. this is why I recommend leasing. By the time the, the, there's any kind of issues with the battery, you give it back to them and let them have you know their, their own problems. But I really hope they're gonna fix it sometime soon. Uh, John Sylvester says, I think Tesla is developing the semi as part of a alien dreadnought manufacturing concept. Uh, could be, they, you know, they are developing a lot of things that have to do with space and hopefully aliens and who knows and hey artificial intelligence is another thing 
that Elon's been working on. Um, uh, George is asking more stress than Tesla. I don't know what it means. Please clarify so I can answer that. Uh, David asks, is it safe like Tesla? I don't think they've done the uh, tests yet. Uh, I think the car needs to be on the market for a while and uh, then, then they're going to start doing all those uh, safety tests. Uh, so I don't know. There might be one, but not the one from the U.S. government from the Institute, National Institute of Highway Safety. I don't think there is a rating. They are selling it in Europe now. Uh, it, they will start selling it here in the United States in January. And from what I understand, they almost have 10,000 orders, which is pretty impressive given that they're selling about, what, 1,200 a month before that from the previous leave. So if you're actually seriously considering it, you better actually put your reservation in because that might be a while because uh, I don't know how, how fast they're going to be making it. Um, let's see. Uh, Kona said the previous Leaf version design were poorly to discourage the uh, punish the EV enthusiasts. I don't even know if that was the intent. I think it was more of a compliance car or experimental car. I completely agree that the, I mean, I hated the look of the previous Nissan Leaf. It was awful. And the range was embarrassing, especially in the cold weather, especially when the car battery started to degradate because of the lack of the active thermal management system. It, it was just, as a matter of fact, I, I think if Tesla wouldn't have existed, I think the electric cars would have died because of the cars like the Nissan Leaf that look bad, don't have any technology and, and certainly don't go very far in one charge. So it's, it's, it, uh, it was disappointing until now when I think they, they really got something. Oscar, how are you doing? Um, hello from uh, Douglas, Arizona. Um, hello from San Jose, California. Uh, EV Patty says, I think Tesla has to bring their manufacturing up to the level of other cars makers before they can actually talk about alien uh, dreadnought. Well, actually, I think they have. As a matter of fact, the way they're making the Model 3 may just be cutting edge because don't forget, once they acquired the company in Germany, I forget, uh, I forget their name, but you know, that company uh, are, are making robot, robots that are making robots. So I think it's pretty advanced. If you, I don't have a video queued up right now for the um, Tesla Model 3 assembly line, but it's pretty impressive. I mean, almost everything gets put in there by a robot and I think they might be on the cutting edge, but I, I'll, I'll look into it. Uh, let's see. Uh, incapacitate uh, says, I wish that the manufacturers of electric cars would get away from the two-tone color design, one color on top and a different on the bottom. You know, oh, that's right, DV Patty, Groman, Groman Engineering. There you go. Thank you for helping me out. Um, you know, I actually kind of dug the uh, the Nissan Leaf in two-tone. As a matter of fact, I was told what, what you're seeing right now here, it's not even a two-tone. They have another one where it's more separate, I guess, as far as colors is concerned. So I've yet to see that one. I actually thought it looks kind of cool. So, but you know, to each its own. I'm just happy they've redesigned the damn thing. Um, let me re re move on to something else that I also quickly wanted to talk about because today Tesla uh, unlocked a third level. I guess it's a third level. I would say it's 1.5 level, but I guess uh, somebody who had about 30%, uh, uh, they were 30% towards the free Roadster, um, and I saw it on Electric, I believe, electric.co. Um, they got the level unlocked where now you can actually watch, and you know, they will invite you to SpaceX to watch a Falcon Heavy rocket, rocket, rocket launch and uh, ESL problems. Uh, and so I, I, I'm not sure if it's that. I mean, some people love it. Like Tesla Rady just did the whole thing where they traveled to the launch and they were really excited. Uh, for me, not so much, but I thought um, I thought it was cool. So I guess so. If she was a thirty percent, so I'm assuming that at twenty five referrals, you will get to have that. And I believe at ten referrals or fifteen referrals, you get to go and ride the boring machine, which is to me is a little boring. I'm not really sure if I'm at that level or I'm going to get to that level. I kind of stopped pushing my referral code after I got the uh, semi truck unveiling event invitation because that was my whole goal to do that. And I really don't want to be pimping out the uh, referral code as much as some other YouTubers because I just wanted the invitation to the event. Um, let's see. 
so yeah, um, so this is something interesting, and I and I and I'm not sure if I'm excited about it, but this is this is something that happened today, and I thought um, I should let you guys know because every time I tried to save the news for the next day, there were more news coming out. So I know tomorrow is Saturday, and I am going to try to edit the Nissan Leaf video for you guys. If not, I'll still go live, and maybe we can just chat and 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 you know. Q&A maybe. Uh, let me know if you guys want to do that. I would hope. I was hoping to maybe do it on Sunday because I just love uh, 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 talking to you guys and answering questions and interacting with you in the chat here. Um, so, um, but yeah, let's uh, let me go to back to the uh, Nissan Leaf. Uh, George asked, "Do you know the price of Nissan Leaf?" So the price starts at thirty thousand. Um, you don't get all those bells and whistles with the e-paddle and and um, I forget what the Pro Pilot. Um, so there are three different levels, and I think the highest level is forty-five thousand. The pricing is on their website right now, so you can look it up. As a matter of fact, you can also request a test drive, and they will come to your house, and they will, you will be able to spend some time in the car. So if you're actually interested in this, go ahead and and schedule it. Um, it's available in the United States, so why not? And just like I said, I was already happy that this car was redesigned and I was kind of impressed. But today, today after my test drive, I am really impressed. And especially for this price range for thirty thousand, it's definitely it's definitely a bargain if if you ask me. Um, so go ahead and check it out. But it, it starts at thirty thousand. Uh, and of course, you can still get the $7,500 incentive uh, uh, here in the United States, and then um, in, here in California, it's 25 extra hundred dollars. So you really, you can buy it for 20 grand. And uh, you know, uh, as I covered it yesterday, the $7,500 federal tax credit may be going away. I thought at first it was a big deal because I just didn't think Republicans would be able to, you know, figure things out with Trump. But now it looks like they might be on the same page, and this is something that, unfortunately, might be reality for us. And I know this is definitely going to hurt uh, companies like Nissan that, that makes, you know, cheaper cars like Nissan Leaf and Chevy Bolt because, you know, this is a difference for some people of buying this car and not buying this car. Um, that seventy-five hundred dollar. Uh, uh, tax credit. So we'll see what happens with it. Um, if, if, if Patty says, um, well, I guess you're talking to Dino, but he says in Europe you can get your hands on one. Uh, um, that I guess you guys are talking about Opel. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Kona Terry says, my Tesla estimated delivery window for the Model 3 just slipped from November to um, uh oh november to january to december february yeah so it looks like everyone's model 3 reservations have slipped one month mine slipped as well um i don't know if everyone's who has a reservation uh would really want to get it right away as soon as possible like i'm gonna wait until my model s lease expires before i do that so um yeah but yes it's about a month so if you think about it it's really not that big of a deal uh that this whole delays have really delayed everybody but by just one month if you think about it is there really that big of a difference to wait for another four months or five months especially if it's going to guarantee that this car is going to be done right um so i think it's kind of worth it um uh, Dino says the only compelling electric cars for me are the Teslas and the Jaguar and the Porsche Mission E. Yes, yeah, so the Porsche Mission E looks like it kind of came out of nowhere because they announced it back in the day and then they, they decided to um, kind of give up on it. And now all of a sudden it's back and they're testing it. It's, 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 it looks and pretty cool. It looks like it's definitely going to compete with, uh, the, uh, with the Tesla. And yes, uh, the... Um, the one, the other one you mentioned was a, a, a Jaguar concept, and somehow I can't find it here uh, in my. I thought I had it queued up, but I, I don't. I don't have it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Jaguar concept is also pretty cool, um, and it's going to have a decent range. I believe 220 miles. That's pretty decent. Uh, George says, "Are you going to make a video on upcoming interior refresh of Model S and Model X?" Yes, one once that happens, um, and once I can get a hold of one. Uh, you know, and you know, just because I can get a hold of one, it doesn't always mean that I can do it. Like for example, I had a Model 3 lined up to do a walk around video and you know, I just ended up not going for it because I, one, I wanted to respect the, uh, uh, the policy of Tesla because you know, they specifically told their employees 
that they don't want those cars to end up in the hands of any kind of media people. Um, and so I, I, I respected there uh, and I didn't want to get anybody in trouble. I know the Model 3 um, Club, whatever YouTube channel guys did this. I think it's a shame that they did this because they really uh, put somebody at risk of getting in trouble because that car was not supposed to be there. And as a matter of fact, I believe one of the hosts went on a Tesla talk or some sort of a podcast and kind of admitted that they did it sort of under the table, if you will. So I'm not going to do stuff like st even even though I, I they got a lot of views, I'm just not going to do that. I think it's disrespectful to the brand and I don't I don't want to do that. Um, so just because I'm going to have an availability to Model S or Model X, um, unless it's something that's kosher to do, if you will, uh, I'm not going to do it. But as soon as it is, I will definitely bring it uh, to you guys. And um, I'm definitely going to make sure that, um, you know, I, I can do a walk around and tell you what the differences are. Um, let's see. EP Patty says, well, every car, but the Teslas have the problem of the charging infrastructure. I don't see any other car that allows you to drive across country continent without planning many hours. Well, so when I was test driving the Nissan Leaf, uh, and he told me that the level three uh, charging is enabled on a Nissan. And as you know, EVgo uh, charging network has level three charging and there's more and more of them. I'm realizing that this is actually becoming a reality where Nissan Leaf and a sh actually, I don't think Chevy Bolt has a level three charging, but, but this car does. And there are more and more level three chargers out there, you know, with the EVgo, I'm sure ChargePoint will get their crap together and finally come up with level three chargers. Um, because there's so many of them here and none of them are level three, but this problem, I think is just going to resolve itself as the infrastructure kind of, uh, you know, the third party networks are kind of grow and realize that there is a need for it. And the cars like Nissan Leaf have that built in already. So the guy who was doing the dev told me that he only charges superchargers level three charging as he drives around and lets everybody uh, test drive this car. So it seems like this is something that Tesla may not have that big of an advantage, um, you know, in the coming years, it's still going to have a big advantage with supercharging, but not as much as, as we now think, not as much as two, two years ago, for sure. Um, let's see. Um, level three charging, DC fast charging. Um, yeah. So level three charging, like he told me the, the 150 uh, mile battery can get charged 80% in uh, about 30 minutes. And don't forget that Toshiba just came out uh, with an announcement that they're gonna have an announcement about the fact that they're gonna have a 200 mile battery, battery that can be charged in six minutes. Um, so I think the technology is really catching up to Tesla, but it's gonna be a while until Tesla really um, gets any kind of real threat from uh, threat from any kind of other companies. Uh, George asks, do you think in 2018 will be refresh of interior MS and MX to the differentiate model three and model S and MX uh, to satisfy. Okay. So basically he's asking if the refresh for the model three, uh, for the model X and model S will be done to differentiate it from the model three. Uh, you know, I think just the fact that the monitor, the display is so much bigger in the model S and the model X, I think just the, just that along uh, is already big, uh, big difference. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like the fact that they are, um, they are the, uh, they're so minimalistic and it's such simple design. So if they decide to actually make it a little bit more luxury, then yes, I think that may not be that bad of an idea because those of us who like this kind of a simple look, we're not going to complain if it's going to be luxury, a little bit more luxurious and stuff like that. But people who really hate it, you can really get them back in the in the market for the for a Tesla with that kind of a look. Now I was I was checking out the Lucid Air a couple of months ago, and I have to say, I, and I, you know, once I sat in that car, I was like, well, I kind of miss miss that luxury because before I drove a Mercedes and I drove a Jag and in the um, what was the other car that I legally? Yeah, I, I had a Lexus Alas, so I really kind of miss that. So I think if they're gonna do that, that's not gonna be that bad of an idea. I just don't know if the refresh is going to be to luxury or just to something different. Um, so we don't know, but I hope they do that soon. Let's see. 
Uh, Evie Patty says, yeah, but still, where can you charge or how do you uh, pay? Do you need RFID accounts? Complicated. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to be complicated for now. And, um, you know, and you're right, there's just not that many of them out there and you have to pay. And I don't think you can get them installed in your in your um, apartments or, or houses. But I'm just saying things are moving. Things are moving before, you know, a year ago, supercharging network was pretty much the only thing that was out there as far as fast charging. But now with EVgo and cars like new, the new Nissan Leaf with the ability to charge in a level three, now we're kind of starting to move into that territory where people are gonna be starting to catch up to Tesla. I'm not saying they will very soon, but I'm just saying things are moving. And I think in every single uh, part of this industry, Tesla is leading the way. Uh, so by the time these guys catch up, maybe Tesla will invent something else um, that maybe charge the battery much faster than everybody else. So I expect Tesla to still stay the leader because they're not going to just sit there and wait for everybody to catch up to them. Um, Bharat Patel Ask, when will the cheaper Tesla Model S will be available? Cheaper than 25,000. Well, by the time uh, the 35,000 uh, Model 3 is going to be available, the, the, there will be very few 7,500 credits, federal credits left. And if this house bill passes and Trump signs it in, into the law, then there will be none anyway. So I think you should be counting on a $35,000 price tag and not $25,000 price tag. So. Um, and I think they're going to start making them probably depends on if there are any further delays, but we're talking probably February, March. I wouldn't be surprised. Again, it depends on the demand. How many people want to buy the higher level and more expensive one? And at what point they're going to have to make the cheaper version so those people can get their, their hands on their, uh, on their Model 3s that are for $35,000 as well. Um, uh, Dino has a good point. He says luxury is simpler nowadays. Vegan seats and all. That's true. Luxury is simpler nowadays, but not as simple as Teslas have right now. Again, I have nothing against the Tesla's uh, interior. I like it, but I've just heard some number of people who believe it's a deal breaker or it's something that's like number one thing they want Tesla to update when they're doing the refresh. So. Um, all right, so those are the main news. Again, the semi truck uh, a picture that they released today is definitely uh, something that uh, is very exciting. Uh, something that a lot of people are talking about right now, and you can you can read and watch other videos, and I think it's kind of very exciting. I'm 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 sure this is uh, going to be the talk of the town for the next couple of days at least, unless there's another big news hits uh, hits us, and we'll talk about that. Anyway, I'll be there November 16th, so you guys hopefully uh, can, uh, can, can, can join me there live and watch my videos afterwards because I'm gonna try to get some really cool information. So, um, ooh, I think I did that way too. I'm back. Uh, I did way too soon. Um, all right, guys. Well, that's it for me today. I am gonna go live tomorrow. If not, I will just post my uh, Nissan Leaf video and i'm hoping on sunday we can just hang out and 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 do q a and stuff like that so that's it for me for now uh thank you for joining me and remember to stay charged